Uh, thanks for licking inside my mouth, Sasha. Um, I try to get the dogs out at least once, once a day or twice, a couple times a week uh, and get them just kind of, they have this pretty gnarly undercoat from the weather changing so much. So I'm out here, I'm just kind of like brushing on them. What I really like and what I found works really well, it, I think this is called a curry comb from uh, just the farm store. It's meant for horses, but it works so good for these dogs getting that undercoat out. Uh, Sasha's getting older, so she doesn't spend as much time outside, but when she does, she develops this really thick coat, and then I've got to come in and kind of brush it out of her. As you can see, I'm getting a little dog off of her, but uh, guys, if you brush your dog, I'd say try to get once a day, uh, once every other day in the winter is probably going to be a, 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 a lifesaver for your vacuum cleaner. Uh, we have seven of these guys, so we don't get to every one of them every day, but at least a couple times a week, we try to brush them out um, just to kind of make them comfortable. Number one, it can get itchy. Uh, as you can see, I'm pulling tons of hair off of her right now from her. This is all undercoat hair. Um, and then it's kind of changing her color. She's going a little bit darker for the, for the winter time and she'll lighten up in the summer because, you know, she's getting all of that. <laughs> That's in my house right now, guys. If you guys can brush them as much as possible, it'll keep your house from having all these tumbleweeds that I have right now. Um, and it'll help the dogs be a little more comfortable as well. You can see this, this right here, this is undergrowth hair. That's not her normal coat. That's just all stuff that's kind of growing underneath. And you're really just kind of wanting to go the direction of the hair and pull all that undergrowth as much of it out as you can. Oh, baby girl, does that feel good? Feels really good to the dogs, guys. They are they don't want it, they're super itchy. You know, they want it off, so. Uh, they're not as able to get it off as easily as we can. Hey, Mishka, you want next? Oh, Mishka calls next. Oh, baby girl. Uh, Malinois hair versus German Shepherd hair. Uh, German Shepherd hair I found is a little more coarse, a little bit thicker um, than, Ger than Malinois hair. Hey, baby girl. Sasha, leave me alone. But man, they, they just really enjoy this. So part of the thing is, well, I believe in the, like the pack rule and with dogs, if you're grooming them, dogs will groom each other. So be a part of their pack, uh, groom each other, hang out with them, brush them, get all this stuff out, save your vacuum cleaner. Uh, it'll help out in the long run. Oh, baby girl. You can't tell me she's not happy right now. Oh, Mishka. So here you go, here's a German Shepherd undercoat. It's this really fine, really uh, wispy hair that kind of gets into everything. So we really want to get it off them as best we can. Oh, Mishka. Oh, Mishka. Good girl, Mishkas. Mishka, come on, stand up. Mishka's pretty submissive. She likes to lay down anytime somebody's petting her. I'm trying to teach her to be a little more confident. Come on, stand up, good girl. And, uh, and to stay standing for these type of things. Good girl. Oh, there you go. That's a good girl. Good girl, Mishkas. Good girl, Mishkas. By letting her kind of be affectionate to me as I'm loving on her, it kind of helps her to find her confidence. Oh, Mishka. If you have a problem dog that doesn't like to be brushed, uh, you can do peanut butter. Uh, they sell those things where you can smear peanut butter on the wall. You can see I got hair all over me. You can smear peanut butter on the wall and kind of get to them. We'll talk about bathing at one, one, <laughs> one of these days, guys. But uh, I don't normally bathe them in the wintertime nearly as much as I do the summertime. Unless they absolutely need it. Oh, baby girl. Nope, nope. Mishka, stand up. Good girl. Mishka, stand up. Good girl. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh, the baby girl. Oh, the baby girl. You're so good. Hey, Barn, you want some brushing too? Oh, Barn's a, Barn's a real bad shedder. You can see how bad Barn. Barn kind of lets go a lot of, a lot of hair. Oh, baby, he wants some loving too. This is all just love, guys. Dogs need love just like we do. So one of the problems and why dogs have such a weird undercoat here in Tennessee is we're right on that tropical line. So we get really, really hot days, or not hot, but over 50 days and uh, below 30 days. Uh, below 30, dogs are gonna start to develop more hair. They're gonna start to develop thicker coats. Uh, above 50 or 45, they're going to try and lose them. So for us, our dogs are in this constant state of flux and they're trying to lose their fur or trying to lose their coat versus trying to, to build a coat. So by brushing them, 
you uh, you stimulate like really good hair growth and you stimulate uh, you know you're helping with their skin you're exfoliating them you're you're kind of taking care of the dogs so brushing is super important hey what's up guys Travis from Second Chance Canyon Barn come here come here we uh we started a video series back in the winter time about brushing and uh, we didn't actually launch it we wanted to kind of like leave it and and continue it as we uh, got closer and closer to uh, summer come here barn sit. Um, so as as like you've seen in some of the other videos we've talked about, we're a, we're a rescue, right? So we don't know what kind of condition our dogs are going to be in. Um, the other thing that I use brushing for is I use brushing as a bonding time for my dogs. Like when my dogs come to us, uh, a lot of them don't have a lot of trust. So if you use brushing, and uh, you can use brushing to kind of develop that trust and build those bonds with each other. Barn really likes to be brushed. Uh, but she's so into sticks she kind of like just dances around the whole time and doesn't sit still But if you look at her coat right here as I'm brushing it up, you can see she still has a pretty thick uh, Winter coat going on. So we need to go ahead and try and get that off. This is just a household brush Not the greatest. It's not pulling that winter coat out It'll get mud and dirt and stuff off, but it's not gonna get that undercoat that I really want off as it starts to heat up um, A couple other kinds of brushes uh, this is one of those ones where you can kind of let it go. Still not my favorite, right? It works great. Come here, Barn. Come here. Oh, good girl. It works great, but it just doesn't, you know, it, it, they, they kind of stick and grab. But, uh, Barn, come here. Sit right there. Good girl. They kind of stick and grab, as you can see. Um, if your dog has any kind of scratches or anything on there, the, you know, those are going to kind of grab into those scratches and kind of, they're going to get them pretty good. The cool thing is, though, that you can just kind of wisp that hair away. And I'll bring another dog out here, too, so you can see kind of a difference. But if you look at Barn, you can see she's got a really clean, pretty coat. But as I'm rubbing on her, you can see some of that dead skin coming off her and stuff. So, uh, anyways, that's the second kind of brush. These are great, but um, they're a little aggressive. Uh, they, uh, they, they can probably grab and, and pull at scabs and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I bought this thing online on a whim, just trying it out. It's called the Sleeker, uh, Sleek Ease. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I, I've used it on a few of the dogs, and as you can, I, I just, I'm not sold on it, right? I think it's gonna, you know, it, it kind of pulls at their hair. It seems like it's a, like a hacksaw blade and a piece of wood, which is cool. It's a really cool concept, but uh, it's just not, not another one. Like, kind of low, lower down on the list. Um, let's see what else we got. We got the Furminator, right? The Furminator is amazing. It's a great brush, but it takes a lot of patience, right? So with the Furminator, when you're brushing the dog, you really just kind of have to slowly kind of pull and just kind of give it like slow, even strokes. With a higher driver, an anti dog, and you can see how much of that undercoat it's actually getting off. It's getting off a ton, but but we could see how anti Barn is. She wants to go play really bad, so you can see how. <laughs> Thank you, Barn. You can see how that might be a problem with a dog like Barn, who's just ready to go. So I kind of just take really long, slow strokes, but then you got to clean them off. So cool brush. Uh, I have too many dogs to spend this much time on. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, for us, this is my go-to. <laughs> this is a curry comb. This is the brush that I love. Uh, they sell them at Tractor Supply. It's actually made for horses, but uh, I have seven dogs in the program. So I'm trying to brush seven dogs as quickly as I can and get that coat out, get them uh, nice and, and groomed and, and loved on, but also not spend all day out here doing that. And you can see how much of that undercoat this thing is just designed to shed horses. So this thing totally sheds off that undercoat, gets rid of it. Oh yeah, get that booty, huh, Bar? Guys, brush uh, in the direction of the hair, you know, like don't don't brush against it. Uh, that could be uncomfortable for the dog. But man, just, you know, a couple minutes a day will, will save your house from being dust bunny, dust bunny mill, you know, like our uh, tumbleweedville with dog hair. <laughs> we, have, we have the Dyson, uh, uh, pet vacuum man we we have to vacuum every single day but yeah as you can see barnes just shed in that winter coat you know she's got all that under hair under there that she's trying to get out and as the as summer kind of creeps up on us she will shed more and more of that winter coat till she's nice and sleek and uh and looking good for summer oh good baby girl oh it's a good baby you're a good girl Barn. guys let me go grab another dog and i'll show you the difference between another all right get out what is in here is there treats in there or something? Girl, all right. Let me go grab Sasha. Hey, so this is our oldest dog, Sasha. She's 12 years old. We have uh, we rescued her when she was six months old. She uh, She's a retired dog. We don't use her anymore. So as you can see, she sits in air conditioning a lot. 
Um, so I try to, as winter's kind of going away, I try to really brush Sasha about every day. As she gets older, she's gonna, you know, she's gonna want to get rid of that uh, undercoat. Sasha just eats it up. She loves it. This is uh, this is love talk 101 to Sasha. So just getting that undercoat off of her, getting her nice and sleeked out. You know, uh, feeding a good food is as is really important as well as you know feeding. Uh, I give eggs in the morning just to kind of help their coat as well. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, I don't see a difference, but lately I've been seeing a real big difference in it. Sasha will just shed and shed and shed. Oh, baby girl, you're such a good girl, Sasha. You're such a good girl. Guys, so much better out here than in my house. As you can see, Sasha just shed is shedding like crazy. Um, <laughs> every time I love on Sasha, I like to wear black sweatshirts, right? Every time I love on Sasha, I come away with a lot of blonde hair on my black sweatshirt. Good girl, Sasha. Good girl. Uh, she'll eventually blow her own coat by herself, but it can be very uncomfortable. And uh, so we kind of want to help her out as much as we can and keep her, keep her, you know, keep her healthy and keep her happy. Sasha loves to be touched and loved on, so this is too easy. She'll just stand here all day long. So, lots of stuff out there guys, really kind of pick what works best for you. What works best for us in the situation we're in with all of the dogs that we have going on and the different coats and you know, we've got Dutch Shepherds, we've got German Shepherds, we've got a, just about a mix of everything. I found that this one works the best, um, especially right now with us fighting growing grass in our backyard with so many dogs, uh, it's a good thing to keep the keep the the mud and stuff off them as well so with this brush I can get mud hair just about anything so uh, they sell these at tractor supply and the price tag is almost still on it but not <laughs> so go check these out I think they're less than like 15 bucks guys but uh, really cool comb really cool it's called a curry comb all right so this is I don't even know what this brush is called we got it off Amazon but man the dogs don't love it so much for the brushing aspect of it but it feels so good when I'm sitting here scratching on their backs with it and their bellies and everything else. It doesn't get as much hair out as the curry comb gets out, but man, look at Ragnar's like smile he's got going right now as I just give that belly some love. And oh, he's a good boy. Oh, Raggies. Oh, Raggies. I'm half waiting for his legs to start like shaking and stuff. Ragnar, come here. Ragnar, come here. Good boy. Good boy. I, I have no problem getting the dogs to line up to get brushed. I have every problem getting the line dogs to line up to do some training. Oh, it's a good boy. What are you doing? Oh, you want to get your back chest? Oh, look at that chest. Oh, look at that chest. Oh, oh it's a good boy. Oh, it's a good boy. Guys, super cool brush. Have no idea what it's called, but uh, we picked it up off Amazon for like 10 bucks. So cool brush, not so much for the fur, but just for the loving that you give your dog with this one. Do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe button so we can rescue more of these guys. I don't have enough dogs around me right now. I need more. Uh, you liking and subscribing, leaving comments, following our social media are all ways that you can help us spread the word and uh, make this rescue possible. We truly appreciate and love you guys. We can't wait to hear from you. Let us know what we can do for you.